You good? Episode one. SOS. <laughs> Hi everyone, if you are a mid handicap golfer and like this clown on my left, you're right, you can't hit driver to save your fucking life, then you've clicked on the right video because we are here today to do the work that no one else is doing. Well, he's here today yeah. to do I'm the work put through my paces. that no one else is doing. So he's currently using the Ping G430, this one here. We have lined up, will you go through Westy and tell them what we have lined up as the potential best driver for a mid handicap. Right, so yeah, we've got my own Ping G430. I say my own, I barely hit it. Shrixon ZX5, Paradigal Head, Cobra Aerojet and a TSR1. What's to talk about first, looks? Let's do looks. Yeah, well, first of all, what I'd like to do yeah. is I would like to start hitting a few with a couple of the clubs. So what we're gonna do is Westy's gonna hit about 10 balls, maybe more, but we're gonna get a good data collection on all five of these. They've all got extra stiff shafts in with pretty much exactly the same profile. They're all 10 degree heads pretty much, apart from his own is nine, but it's cranked up. So data wise, it is as close as you're gonna to get to being the fairest of tests. I think as well, we will, like I said, I don't hit driver the best. Minus like, if I scuff it or top it, we'll, we'll jack it off. But like, if I feel like I've missed hit it, like a course miss hit, we'll keep it in and yeah. then obviously, Hopefully I get a few course miss hits with each one and then we can see, yeah, how they- So Chop forward. Dogs, listen the fuck up. Subscribe to our channel. We are doing the work for you. If you cannot hit a driver to save your life, you've clicked on the right video. Let's get right into it. Starting with your own G430. This is gonna be- fucking, I'm actually nervous. This is gonna be painful. I hate hitting driver. Stay for the ride. The driver that he already owns, 450 quid paid for it. Hits it on the golf course once every five rounds. Yeah. What a good investment. Not even once every five. Yeah, right, Ping G430, episode one mid handicapper driver review. Why did you get that? Do you want me to be brutally honest? Yeah. And it pains me to say, but mm -hmm. I, you, you naturally look at your friends who are better at golf. And obviously I play with you daily, like mm -hmm. we together all the time. And you swap from a Titleist and hit the Paradox, no, the Rogue. Mm -hmm. And for you, it's more forgiving. So you look at someone that can hit a golf ball. And if they're saying it's more forgiving. And I would agree. Yeah. Ping, Ping's tech, like Ping and are nose renowned yeah. for having the most forgiving drivers. So let's yeah. just get some data with yours to start off with then, big lad. Big lad. All right. That's an absolute yeah. missile, isn't it? That's hit. Oh, that's a missile. Oh, mate, you've hit that. You right. that more often on the course, buddy. In the video, that's just been a review. <laughs> uh, right, move on to the second one, which will, we'll do the Strix on ZX5. I want to take this off, you don't mind. This is actually my worst nightmare of a video. Like, right. it's for the people. Shrixon, ZX5. Do you know what? That is actually a good looking driver. Yeah. Oh my God. That's actually nice. <laughs> I just hit that shot over and over again. <laughs> Shrixon done, Pink G430 done. Interested to get your thoughts on this one. Buddy blocked. The paradigal head. The paradigmy. Ugly. Huh? That's initial thoughts, ugly. Like, okay. Like really ugly. But don't hit, yeah, talk, talk, why? Like underneath, I was looking at that like a, a photo of something, it's all right, because I quite like digital on that, but. It's not digital, it's No, but it feels like carbon. sort of, it feels like digitally sort of. Is that because you was in the army, you like that? Point? No, it just feels that, and then like, but looking down, like sort of bluey, turquoisey head, like that rim, to me, I don't think looks neat. Face looks nice, but no, like that, okay. in, your, that in your bag. I'm and then behind the ball. Big, looks like a big clunkin. Is that not a good thing though? I don't know, we'll run a few of this. this. Hello. Oh, that was a best drive of that. How'd it feel off the face? Uh, wait, I'm <laughs> sorry, I'll never say that again. <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. Talk to me before you hit another one, fucking Machine Gun Kelly, speak. I think that, well, it obviously felt the nicest. Actually, it's the best drive I've hit. It's not small, it's not big. It's like this compact head that like, it, like it's hard to explain, like compact makes it feel like it wants to be one and be strong. I know it sounds weird, but do you know what I mean? It sounds like- it Sounds weird as fuck. Yeah. yeah.
All right. right let's not talk about performance on that yet. No, okay. So five shots hit with that. Let's do... Let's go air Aerojet. Yeah. Looks as I like it. I actually don't mind Cobra Clubs as well. Like, I think Cobra Clubs are nice. I had a Biocell 3 wood for a while. It's completely carbon at the top, so it's like not matted out. It's not that weird blue. It looks nice. It looks like modern. It's like this sort of modern look. I don't think the older generation would like looking down at full carbon. And obviously a little bit of colour there, white and that, just a bit like edgy. I think like if you're 40 plus, maybe you like it. I love the face. Shape. I think the face on that is lovely. It's longer. And I think Cobras are notoriously like triangular at the back, aren't mm. they? A little bit longer, but... Do so you mean like it's more like elongated at the back, yeah? Yeah. But behind the ball, actually, do you know what? I take it back, the carbon actually looks quite nice. That was fucking hit, wasn't it? Yeah, that was middle. <laughs> he always does this weird thing where he plays down every good shot. Well, that thing. <laughs> That was nice. That felt really nice, to be honest with you. Right, let me type in TSR1 and I'll get back with it. Well, look straight away, but they are, they sit at the top there. Titleist does it well with bags, everything. And it's just, I don't think there's an age group that wouldn't like the look of that. Just blacked out, tiny bit of red. It's not elongated, but it is a bigger head. Right, that's what I noticed straight away. Face is clean. The actual top of it is clean. Sound difference. Fucking hell, that was loud, wasn't it? Oh, that's not enough. It's an expensive video for me. I need all of you to like, comment, subscribe on this one. Right, I'll get in front of the screen and I'll catch back up with you, alright? Coming in, big dog. Right. You, you can, talk me through... You can call me the driver father. You talk me through what you've just felt then. Right. I got better as I went on. Well, no, I started well with mine, and then I, it's hard because I feel like I got better as I went on because obviously I was just getting more reps in. The mine I did actually hit quite nice. Um, it was the straightest. It is the most forgiving. I don't think it was the longest, but it wasn't like short by any stretch of the imagination. It doesn't look the nicest, sadly. The Shrixen looks probably top two, but performed awful. Like I just felt like I couldn't hit it. The Paradigm performed well, and it was long as well. Looks horrible. It wasn't very straight. But like, yeah, goes. it's long, but yeah, it wasn't the straight. These two I would like to hit again. The Aerojet and the TSR-1. Def that Titleist I actually enjoyed hitting. I would like to hit, like I would like to come back in my own time and hit the Ping, the Aerojet and the Titleist and actually hit them well and see how these three perform. These two are definitely out. They get dropped out, I'm not gonna drop them. But yeah, Ash will talk about the more in-depth data because I just go off like you guys mid handicap. I just go off feels and looks, to be honest with you, so. Right, so everyone, if we look at ball speed, the fastest driver was the TSR1 at 164 miles an hour. In second place, the Ping with 162 miles an hour. Paradigm in third with 161. Aerojet in, in fourth with 160. ZX5 in 159. Spin was pretty much exactly the same on the Ping, the TSR and the Aerojet, all at 3,200, which is a really nice spin window. Paradigm, it dropped off a little bit at 2,800, which is why it seemed like they were knuckling a little bit more. And then the ZX-5, he just didn't hit it well at all. Uh, it was 3,900, so a little bit clouded data on that one. The total carry and uh, total distance, the Ping 260 to 275 yards. TSR 263 to 283, that was the longest of them. So that matches up with the ball speed being 164. Aerojet, 252 yards with a total of 273. Paradigm is a, a low spin monster. 265 yards, but rolling out to almost 290. ZX5, he just hit it like an absolute prick. So 245 to 264. But the straightest of them all, the answer to your question, if you're a mid-handicap golfer and you want to hit more fairways, the winner is the Ping G430. You probably already knew it and we've just confirmed it. The grouping it was by far better than anything else. Yeah. Hit it so straight, and you could argue that it's his driver, but he doesn't usually hit it well. I don't hit it. At all. I don't actually hit it. So me coming in there and that being my own driver just made no difference. There you go. Well, there's your answer, everyone. If you're a mid-handicap chopper like the boy above me, and you're looking for a driver, your best bet is either the TSR, the Ping, the Aerojet. Ping.
Just go ping. <laughs> just, just go ping. Hit the ping, and it's it's a little bit cheaper as well. It's ping. Thanks for helping that, with that, West. Thank you. Thank you, KGA. Thank you, UK Golf Academy. If you want to get fit for any of these clubs, get yourself down here. Fit in studio in Brentwood with every single shaft, every single head, every single grip, every single thing you'd ever want yeah. from golf. It's like a little candy shop in here. Subscribe to the channel, do the good stuff. Make sure you like this video, share it with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Kiss, kiss. No. Yeah.